Don't talk, just listen. <laughs> Programming. Fair use, fair use, fair use. Because I just want Ocho to understand. This is Ocho's show. This is my show. And I want him to take it as serious instead of me like when he goes on first take, be great on first take. Inside the NFL, be great on those. But I want Ocho to understand we going to only go as far. What is 988? It's a he and I can take this thing. And the heights that I dream, and I think what he's conveyed to me, is that we're going to have to do this together. But there has to be a level of professionalism. There has to be a courtesy of being on time. I respect his time, and I want him to respect, because there's a lot of people. We started out, it was just Ocho, myself, one person in the studio, and Ash. We got 11 people now. We got editors. We got graphics. We got extra producers. We got associate producers. And so I know y'all took it and tried to run. This is a conversation. Ocho and I have had conversation off cameras. Ocho has conveyed to me what he wants to accomplish with Nightcap, all the while expanding his brand and doing first take. I wholeheartedly support that. And you know when they when it came to me, Ocho was great. Uh, inside the NFL, he doing that. He's doing an unbelievable job. But I just know Ocho can. And I think I, I don't. I, for me, when I look at Ocho, I see a guy that wants to do it, but has never been in a situation where it was had to be like, okay, Ocho, you can just do your thing. Ocho, you're so great. I'm going to make. Oh, I'm going to force Ocho to be great. He ain't got no choice. He ain't going to have no choice but to be great. And when we rise with Nightcap, when y'all see. Man, man, they did it. Man, Unc said it. Ocho said they were going to do it. That's what I expect from Ocho. And I just like, he was already going to be cutting it close for time because of the flight got delayed, uh, mechanical issues. And so in that situation, you know what? I got a show tonight. This is not a sack. This is not Friday. I don't have anything to do. Uh, I can take that route that I normally take, call somebody, have them pick me up. But you know what? I'm already cutting it close. Let me get a more, a little more suitable situation to get to my workplace. So I know you guys tried to blow it up, try to make it something. I'm trying to big time Ocho. No, I just want Ocho to be great. And I think there's a level of professionalism and a kind of courtesy that comes along with being great. Because there are two kinds of pains that you get. You get the pain of discipline or you get the pain of regret. And if things don't work out, I can live with that. Stop right there for a second. I get what you're saying. I think the problem is, man, you could have did that off air, man. And for don't y'all don't know what's going on, man. Yesterday <clears throat> they had the show. And uh Chad was a couple he was a little late. He got the person he was with got locked his keys in out the car. It was like it was an unfortunate situation. So he ended up being late for the show. And he was nonchalant about it. And Shannon was mad. And he tried to tell him what happened. Shannon wasn't trying to hear it, and he checking them like little boy in them, kind of. And it rubbed people the wrong way because everybody saw how Skip be talking to him. Like, everybody saw how Skip was just disrespecting this man. Like, everybody know the big one, the one that ended the show, but it was a whole lot of them before that he was just disrespecting the shit out of Shannon. And Shannon was just letting it ride. So for you to do that to him, that's what the problem was. And then you still never apologize for that. I could have did that behind the scenes. No, you try to out this man. Now, I get it. When y'all first did the show, y'all was doing it. Y'all had a lot of stuff they ended up incorporating. Y'all grew faster than y'all thought y'all was going to grow. Now it's to the point where y'all making it a real show. And I get it. And you need the concentration. You need the dedication because Chad play a lot. And overall, Chad really not that good on his takes. But he good for the show. When he started out, he was real funny. You know, laughed a lot and y'all joked a lot. And y'all still do that, but it's more serious now. And I get where you're going with it. But the problem is you didn't have to do that. You could have did that before the show started, after the show. Like to do that on that in front of 20,000 people and more. Like that wasn't cool, man. And that's the part that, that people is, is that you not realize what people are mad about. People are not mad about you holding a man accountable. Everybody know Chad play a lot. He a goofy. Everybody know, not goofy like that, but he a goofball. Everybody know that. 
So we understand you want him to take it serious because his takes be, he be pissing you off with the takes. So I see it. I, I said it a while ago. Like he really need to work on his takes because I don't know if he's not watching the games or what. For him to play in the NFL, he don't know a lot of the players and a lot of that, but he is needed for the show because he built that show with you. And I understand where you're trying to go. So nobody is knocking you for holding the man accountable. It's the way you did it. And we all see you get, in other words, punked on national TV various times. At least five times Skip Bayless punked you on TV. And you didn't have none of that energy for him that you had for Chad. And that's what pissed people off, man. Yo, that show was part of your show too, wasn't it? It was called Skip and Shannon. So is Nightcap his show too, or is it just his name on it? Like you was doing with, with Skip a legend. So come on, man. That's the problem with it, man. Nobody mad about you holding that man accountable. If y'all running the business, everybody's supposed to be held accountable. Somebody got no problem with that. It's a problem you did that shit in front of the world. And we seen you get punked on national TV various times by a 70-year-old dude that never played the sport. Chad played football, a professional, and he was good. And you let a motherfucker, old motherfucker that never played just disrespect you numerous of times, call you jealous of other players, and you a three-time champ. Probably the hardest you probably the hardest working man in in his YouTube business and on TV in the debate world. So can't nobody take nothing away from you that you accomplished and you're going to accomplish. All we saying is the way you handled that, it wasn't right, and we seen you get punked out numerous times. That's all we saying. So show TV, the best TV, man. Like, share, subscribe, I'll holler at y'all.